Hello friends, welcome back to Yoga with Paige. Today we are going to intuitively go through a little feel-good flow. So I'm not sure what's going to come up, we'll see what happens, but I think we will start standing up. So whenever you're ready, grab your mat and hop on to those feet. Also, this is one of the last classes that you will see here in this boring room. These white walls are getting a much needed makeover it's coming soon, so I'm really excited. Now, hop on up. <laughs> Starting in mountain pose today, palms facing forward, rooting down through the feet and up through the crown of the head, rolling the shoulders back. Inhale, lift them up towards the ears. Exhale, roll them down and back. We're going to shoot the arms out to shoulder height and take a few little twists. So make this whatever you want it to be. If you want it to be very minimal twists, only using the thoracic spine, or if we want to go the whole way, make it more energizing, take some movement in there with it. You choose, you flow, listen to what your body is asking for in this very moment. Just having fun with this, opening up, Taking one final breath and then releasing the hands. Inhale, reach them up above. Exhale, take them behind the back, interlace the fingers and lift the chest. Beautiful. Like taking the gaze to the sky, we can feel the space in between the collarbones. Rolling the shoulders down as far as we can. One more breath. And gently release. We're going to step this right foot back, coming into a little pyramid pose. So releasing the hands to the sides, slowly fold your chest forward. We might want to scoot that leg back um, up a little bit if this is your first movement of the day. You can always keep a little bend in the knee as well. Slowly moving. Stopping where our body tells us to, keeping the hips square and the back nice and long. Breathing here. Beautiful. One more breath. Maybe go a little bit deeper. And then we're going to bend that knee, release the fingertips to the mat and come into a low lunge. So finding our alignment here, knee over ankle, squaring the hips, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, palms meet, send the hips down into the mat, bringing hands to heart center. Really pressing the hands together here, feeling the energy in them, in yourself. Big inhale through the nose. And exhale, sink into the hips, opening up that right hip flexor. One more breath. And then we revolve to the left. So taking this right elbow on the outside of the knee, pressing to help you twist and gaze back as far as feels good. Still keeping this friction in between the hands, pressing them away, opening up through the scapula, breathing. Beautiful. Release to frame the foot and send the hips back, half splits. Flex that foot up, flex it up to the face. Just a few breaths here, one or two, not too many. Inhale to find length, exhale to fold, just awakening that hamstring again. One more breath. And 
and then lifting the chest up, taking that leg back to the other one. <laughs> so sitting on top of the knees, reach the arms up, and exhale, drop this right hand, the left reaches overhead. We're gonna come to sit on the sit bone. So our feet come out to the right of us. Really reach, open up the side body. Beautiful. And sweeping it around, inhale, reach the arms back up. To repeat on the other side, dropping the left hand down, really working through the side body here. One more beautiful breath. And we release, coming back up onto the knees, turning, tucking the toes, and sitting back on the heels. We're going to come into garland pose, malasana, yogi squat. These, this pose with so many names. And just open a little bit through the hips, taking whatever variation your heart desires, opening the knees a little bit with the elbows. We can reach one arm up and take a bind to help us open, remembering to always balance out and to the other side. We will be here for a few breaths, so sink in, notice what you're feeling, observe the way that your mind jumps to thoughts, Breathe deeply, go within, be in this present moment. Beautiful. Two more deep breaths. Fill the lungs with air, reaching the chest up. And exhale, releasing the fingertips to the mat, straightening the legs, turning to face the back of the mat or front, if you weren't faced the same as me, with the right leg in front this time, pyramid pose. Kind of going off the wall here today. But that's fine, sometimes we do that. So inhale, <laughs> raise the arms behind you or at heart center. You can always bend the knee or use fingertips if we need to. Remember, I'm just a guide. Just a guide. Breathing deep. Whatever your practice looks like today, maybe you're going completely off of what I'm doing. Maybe we're just intuitively flowing together. That actually sounds really cool. Let me know down below if you were doing that. That would be amazing. One more breath. And then release into your low lunge, sliding that left foot back. Taking our time to find our alignment here. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, heart center. Internally rotating the thighs. Sending the hips down energetically through the mat. Waking up the hips, maybe unleashing some emotions we didn't know we were feeling. Not judging anything that comes to mind. Inhale. And on your next exhale, gently twist to the right, using that opposition again to help you twist even deeper. Breathe here. One more deep breath with this twist. Don't force anything, just feel it. And then exhale, frame the foot. Tuck the back toes and come onto the sit bones. We're going to extend both legs for straddle pose. We're really getting the groins and the hips today. I guess that's what I needed. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale with the feet 
and knees externally rotated behind you slowly just melt forward a tiny bit. If this is as far as you go, that's fine. We want to keep a nice flat back. We're energetically reaching the hands up and the feet toes back. Beautiful, keep breathing. Nice and active in the legs here. And release, rain the fingertips down. Tucking this left foot into the right thigh. We're gonna reach that right arm over, left comes overhead. Just a gentle little moment here. Nothing too long. And we release back up to switch sides. Beautiful. Easy breaths. And coming back around, facing the front of the mat, we're gonna come into everyone's favorite boat pose. I challenge you to straighten the legs if you can, really connecting to the core, sucking the navel into the spine, holding. Maybe we're shaking. Maybe we're here, we can definitely have legs parallel to the mat. I challenge you. Let me know if you can hold it this whole time. Five more seconds. Four, three, suck it in. Two, one, release down to the mat, onto the back. Good, tuck the knees into the chest. Find little gentle hip circles with the knees or anything else that feels good here. Beautiful. I'm going to gently let my knees fall to the left and find a twist to the right. Ooh, my back cracked, that was yummy. Just a few nice breaths. Slowing down the breath. We're gonna end our practice here. Well, don't worry, we'll, we'll twist to the other side first, but just a short little practice. Knowing that a little bit goes a long way, especially if we're intentional and conscious about our movements, our thoughts, Gently coming back onto the back to twist to the other side. And my back cracked again. I really needed that one. <laughs> Breathing nice and deep, maybe closing the eyes for the last few moments. Releasing tension in the shoulders, in the neck, in the face. Having a few moments of silence. And whenever you're ready, you can gently come onto the back. Make your way to a seated position where we take one last breath together. Inhale and exhale, hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to practicing with you again very soon. Namaste, my friend.